Hey guys, Trap of Doom here, and uh, yeah, this is a Let's Play series that uh, if you know, if you followed me on Twitter and stuff, you'd think, Triforce, why are you doing this? You've played this game before. You know everything that happens. Well, I don't. Yeah, Jeff here doesn't. He he's back from the River City Girls Let's Play. This time, hopefully, with better sound balancing, because yeah, we have switched we have switched seats, so I am closer to the mic now. Yeah, and also just. And also, yeah, just, you know, me learning a bit more sound balancing despite having done Left Place for seven years, still learning shit. That's just how it goes. We've learned more. We're older. That's how this works. You know, even if it's only by, like, a year or two. When did we record that Let's Play again? Because it was, it was recent. It was, like, months ago, at least. Yeah, it was at least, like, a year ago, I want to say. Mm -hmm. Which, I'm so excited for both 2 and 0 coming out. Oh, I'm so excited for that. What mm -hmm. a time to get into River City. Yeah. Man. But, uh, but, well, enough about River City, we're here with Dark Robot Trigger, ha Trigger Happy Havoc. So, um, I have played through all of the game. I even watched the ending, which you will be doing later for reasons. <laughs> okay. Uh, trust me on this. <laughs> um, but what, th that we'll probably just do a little discussion video on, because I don't want to do the copyright co tango with that. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Jeff here has not touched Dark Europa at all. Nope. I made sure of this when I was proposing this idea to him a good few years ago. We we were going to do this much earlier, and then, you know, the Life virus happened. hit. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the virus hit. <laughs> That's how long we've been hoping to do this for. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Uh, so, let's get this started. The, the way this is going to work, just for pacing reasons, is I'm going to be handling all the open world stuff, he'll be handling the trials, but for the who we hang out with, Outside of, like, one or two specific instances where I feel it helps with the plot, you get to choose. Okay. B based on who you think it would, uh, go best. Also, I'm just gonna double-check all my options real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got the sound balancing. We can always fix that later if we need to. Radical speed's fine. Movement bob's just a fun little effect. Yeah, Dark Rumpa doesn't have a lot of settings. Yeah. Most of the settings happen once you hit New Game. Hmm. Um, for those of you wondering where the hell the main title thing comes in, we're playing this via the 1-2 Reloaded combo pack on PlayStation. Uh, let me say this now, if that, for those of you interested in getting to Danganronpa, uh, while they are on Switch now, I would, at least with the later games, I would not recommend playing the Switch versions. I've seen someone play that. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> they, how you fuck up uh, monetizing a visual, or uh, uh, optimizing a visual novel, I have no fucking idea, but they did. <laughs> And yeah, we're going with English language for the voice because that's just the voice I'm used to. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna stick with kind. I, I I'd probably plan on me, but we're sticking with kind for first try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, this is the first time playing this version, so I'll begin all the trophy pop-ups. Nice. So uh, yeah, just a little introduction into what this story is going to be like. <laughs> um, yeah. Danganronpa. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, see so yeah. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field of manageable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. Don't they all? 
well, that this one in particular is interesting in that regard, actually. Um, with hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope Speak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only you need way to be in, a student, you need to be alive. <laughs> you know, the only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. Mm. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students, get ready to hear that term a lot because ultimate is the is a official term. Mm -hmm. At least in the official translations. Back when the game first came out on PlayStation Portable, it had a fan translation, which is how it got popular enough to get over here, by the way. Mm. In that fan translation, it was called Super High School Level. Mm. Or SHL, or SHSL. Yeah, also it rolls off the tongue better. Yeah. Was me. <laughs> this is us. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. Trying to place the voice actor there? Mm hmm. I'm. You should know him. Yeah, I feel like I should, and that's why it's annoying me that I can't. I'm like, I want to say it's Alm, which is... I'm better at, like, um, connecting characters of the same voice actor than actually naming the voice actor themselves. Not gonna lie, I only remember one, uh, I only off the top of my head remember one of uh, this guy's other roles, and that's he's the current voice for Silver. Oh, um... No, my mind just went blank. Bryce Pittenberg. Oh. Yeah, fun fact for me, this was basically his first role, the first role of his I really knew about. Because uh, th this game is basically how I discovered him. Bryce Pappenbrook is the guy who plays, um, the protagonist of Blue Exorcist. I'm pretty sure. And I have not seen that anime. I know of it, I've yet to see it. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, Makoto Nagy, voiced by B B Bryce Pappenbrook. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. <laughs> average on outside, average on inside, blah, blah, blah. He's your everyman. <laughs> the ultimate average. No, that's actually not what his ultimate is here. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, not much going for me, blah, 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 blah. He's your blank slate protagonist and he fucking knows it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot he mentioned mutant because, uh, you know, my, you, you remember my little fanfic? Uh, with, with, um, with, with the whole Andrew bending and all that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have thought up, uh, if I was in Danganronpa before. Yeah. A lot to be like, there's role-playing groups. Mm hmm This series has been around for a while. I mean, frankly, you're not entirely wrong there. My favorite anime is One Piece, but that's because it's just really fucking good. There's a reason it's popular. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. But, you know, I, 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 I like I new shit. I found this series back when it was still relatively new to the scene. I, I found it because my friend Jake recommended it to, to me during school lunch because he knew how to Vita. Mm -hmm. I got this game because I got a Vita. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how niche it was. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Now we know who our protagonist is. Nice character design. I like the hoodie. Mm-hmm. So he's a little more gun-ho than others, blah 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 blah. And here I am saying in front of anything from Ordinary Hope Speak. Mm-hmm. Oh, this part's not in voice either. Uh, which, this is a fair concern. <laughs> an overwhelming presence like it's trying to swallow me whole. Welcome to every obsession ever. Yeah, that's a fucking mood. That's a <laughs> fucking mood. Welcome to me with 14. <laughs> But that's been me with Persona since fucking high school. Yeah. <laughs> I was streaming Persona 5's the game when Joker was announced for Smash! Mm -hmm. I have that honor- I have that forever immortalized on my list show because that's when I was still uploading VODs! Nice. <laughs> I didn't figure out how to fucking download part of a six hour long VOD so I can use that for a later list idea. Mm. Ugh. The prep he did to get ready for today. Checking all the forums. 
Yeah, this takes place in 2010, apparently, or at least around there. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. Because if this was back when the portable was a thing, that's when this game was first, first released in Japan. Mm hmm. So, everyone discussing who are all the ultimates this year? Because, mm -hmm. of course, that's going to be a hot topic. So, you've got the ultimate pop sensation. <laughs> yeah, basically the top idol. Mm -hmm. The ultimate baseball star. <laughs> so, you know, pretty standard should be ultimates of in Japan. The ultimate fashionista. Hmm. What was that hmm about? I don't know, I feel like I've seen this person somewhere before. Hmm. What? The ultimate biker game leader. <laughs> hey, got your delinquent character somewhere. He's, he's even got the, uh, in a way pompadour. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me, I've been really into nerd- You know I've been really into nerdcore lately. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, one guy I follow recently up- Like, just yesterday or the day before, uploaded a, uh, anime game- uh, anime delinquent cipher, so that's fun. Mm. The ultimate martial artist, fanfic creator, <laughs> gambler... Hey, dungeons are a thing! Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they- they are profitable, as we've- as, uh, many people could probably attest to. Swimming pro, programmer, clairvoyant, he's an interesting one. <laughs> yeah, the, these are all the actual ultimates we'll meet later, just at least their talents. Wait, I'm sorry, did that say house is square log? Uh, tame little house cat. Oh, so start is lo uh, the log. Oh, wait, no, that's actually, hold on, R1. Tame little house cat. Oh, it is the touchpad, why was that not working? Oh, I probably don't have the transcript unlocked yet. I forgot you actually get that later in the story. <laughs> oh well. We have a house cat with us anyway, so. Meow. With all those ultimates, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. So how the fuck did I get into this school? Well. I also there's a reserve course. That's not relevant right now though. <laughs> So yeah, how the fuck am I here? That's the big question on everyone's mind, including me. Well... The acceptance letter. Let's see it. Mr. Mc... We recently held a lottery <laughs> to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected, and we invite you to join as the ultimate lucky student. Luck. <laughs> yep. I mean, hey, luck is a talent of sorts. I don't have it! Nope. Anyone who's played D&D with me or has seen me play games in general can knows I do not fucking have it! Anything with RNG ever. I don't have it. Nope. I I am on the Proton John side of that scale. Not, I'm, I'm, not, not, I'm not, not quite to Chugga's levels, but I'd put myself in between there. Okay, so you'd be the Tim. Mm -hmm. Alright. Like, I'm not as bad as John in certain cases, but I get bad. Like, yeah. Digital dot one moment I, mean, I will one moment I will always remember when I was playing D D online with some friends. Um I roll that one, enemy rolls in that one, I roll that one, all in a row. <laughs> and that was with digital dice, and this was after physical dice already hated me. Mm -hmm. So you know, it wasn't my dice that hit it wasn't my dice, it was me. <laughs> and I play RPGs. Yeah. <laughs> Makes it fun. So, yeah. So, sorry if I'm reading a little too fast. No, I'm fine. Okay. But yeah. I mean for all incoming students in the main hall at 8. Let's go! I forget how little they're actually voiced in the first game with mm -hmm. these monologues. I do like the difference in colors to indicate uh, what are thoughts and what aren't. Yeah. Alright, this is where we're supposed to meet. Guess I'm the first one. I hate when a controller does that. It just says, hey, I'm just gonna not register for a bit. Yeah. 
There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says 7.10. Wow, we are early, early. <laughs> Bruh. I get me nervous, but come on. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Ugh. All right, so we take our first, first step, and first step towards starting a new life at a new school. Uh huh. Yada yada. And... About that. What the? You know, my brain immediately went. So you remember when Deku first showed up at UA? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which funny thing is I played this game first before that series was even a thing. Mm-hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. And the next moment, everything went black. That's how it all began. <laughs> yeah, that's a line. Yep. I cliche one but a line. Yeah. <laughs> Get ready to hear that word a fair bit later on. Just, just mm -hmm. saying. I mean, considering it's part of the title. Now, funny thing is, a lot of this game is still fresh in my mind because I helped edit the spoiler video for a um for a review series. Hmm. I lined up the game footage to the to uh, his uh to his voice recordings uh for the first four chapters. Nice. It was my first ever commission, and hello save slots. All the save slots. And yeah, this, this, this game could put some, uh, some 30 slots. Not a bad amount for a VN. Mm -hmm. Five more minutes. <laughs> yeah, again, yeah, every noises are fun. Yeah. I also, hello, new text box format. Mm hmm. Just to really show shit went south. <laughs> it's like, I woke up in a different game. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mood sometimes. Mm hmm. Yeah, why I just, why I decided, like, during one of my first college courses to take uh, Japanese at, like, 7 p.m., I have no fucking clue. Mm hmm. to our main presentation style, Diorama! Mm. It's a neat style. So, welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Here's their controls tutorial. Adjust your aim, uh, uh, interact with objects with the X button, investigate the object, blah 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 blah, L1 to adjust your camera, or D-pad. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like I've done all this before, um, so I'm used to this. And yeah, you can also use right stick for the camera, that's probably what I'm going to be using. Yeah. Now, what's this thing popping out at us? Okay, I don't think I've ever left drool on a desk. Probably my sleeve, but not a desk. Yeah. Huh, very professional. <laughs> Starting today, the school will be your entire world. A little ominous. Very much so. Oh, I need to look at, around a little more. Been a while since I played the game myself, so I forgot how much of the like prep work. Oh yeah, you know, looking at the clock would be a good day. We had to get up at eight after all. Oh, what do you know? Naps are a bitch. Yep. And uh, hi. The heck? That's where a window should be. Why is it boarded up? Those are screws. <laughs> My dumbass thought those were hats for a moment and was like, that's a very weird hat rack. Yeah, I was gonna say, what? <laughs> Man, metal plates over the windows, that's not a good sign. 
So this has to be a home sweet classroom. Is this just some weird initiation ritual? <laughs> Like it's a prison. It might as well be. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and also you can either interact with the door or just push circle. Very convenient. Nice purple hallway. Mm -hmm. God, it feels weird having a Darn Rumpa game where you don't see the name of the song in the upper corner. Mm. Oh, you can also just pop up the map. Mm -hmm. Convenient. Okay, we need to get to the main hall. Which I, if I'm, yep, okay, there's that. <laughs> okay, then. That's not where the main hall is? I swear that's where the main hall was. What the fuck, me? Um. Oh, maybe it's this over here. Maybe. Oh yeah, I think I mixed up the uh, order of uh, things here. Yeah, I did. Mm. Yeah, I just absolutely mixed up where the rooms were for a sec. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I'll take control of the map because I know where everything is. Immediately fucks up. <laughs> <laughs> That's about on par for me, honestly. Mm -hmm. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Huh? Huh? Then you guys are all... There's an auto button beep because we're going to discuss text and stuff. I'm leaving that off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. <laughs> the ultimate students. Quite the character designs. Mm-hmm. I, speaking of, I have some trivia for two characters later on, but we'll save that for later. Yeah. Also, for this series, instead of a raw 20 minute time limit, I'm gonna try to pace it based around the story. It yeah. is a story based game, after all. Yeah. So yeah, this, this first part's probably going to be a little long because I'm probably just going to end up covering a lot of the prologue stuff immediately almost. Or something. Yep. Because yeah, it hasn't, it's probably not been too long, right? What does the timer say? Should be in the lower part of the screen. Hmm, yeah. It says like, I think it's 23 minutes. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Hmm? So yeah, we fell asleep. They apparently did too. Mm. Fucking love for character design. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there's you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Got it. Listen to me. Now for Shut the. Up. So for. So for the upcoming character splash screens, I'm gonna have uh, do a thing that a bluff player I also follow does. And edit in the voice actors under their names, because why not? That way everyone knows. Mm hmm. That way I don't have to go, who the fuck was it again? <laughs> Bruh. What? That's right. Recognize that voice, though? From those two words? No. Oh, well, well you'll hear more of her voice later, at yeah. least. Yeah, gonna need to figure out who's who. Yeah. Yeah. Um... All right, let's talk to everyone. So he's right about them, but he doesn't know who they are, like personality-wise and all that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we get them in batches. Makes it nice and easy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we can do this in any order you want. Any particular order you want to do for this? Uh, the redhead on the right. Alright. Leon Kuwada. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwada. What's up? I forget who his VA is, but the post me will figure it out. Mm -hmm. The ultimate baseball star.
<laughs> Give me a break. Kinda! I mean, that was in the splat. I get it, that was his imagination. No, that was in the splash screen. That, that... Picture online! Mmm. Ah, ah, embarrassing memories! Ah. <laughs> what the crap? <laughs> My image! Yeah, reminder, most Japanese people are naturally like black or brown hair. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Hey, listen. You know. Yeah, that's fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Leon's actually a bit of an interesting character when you get to know him. Yeah! His dream? He wants to be, be a musician. Mm hmm. You know what I mean. How cool is that? I was gonna have something you're striving for. Mm-hmm. Say, he must just had a natural talent he didn't like using. <laughs> Funny how that works. Mm -hmm. So who next? Uh the lady in the middle. You make some interesting for first choices. <laughs> Sayaka Maizono. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. The ultimate pop sensation. I'm forgetting the name of her VA straight up. I'm just going to say that now, so I cannot help. Psycho <laughs> mm -hmm. Maizono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was surprised. Yeah, the pop group thing and all that, but... And her being the center of the group. Yeah. But also, um... <laughs> Uh, we'll get there. Mm. Right, that was blue text he was doing. Mm -hmm. Did you hear me? But you're not the clairvoyant. That's just her catchphrase. Mm -hmm. Hey, um. Just hold on. Uh, um. You hear me? Jesus, Sorry. dude. Yeah, you'll, you'll see why with him soon. <laughs> I forgot to actually uh, lead that on for a bit. <laughs> so who next? Uh, the loudmouth. Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Okay. The ultimate moral compass. Uh-huh, sure. He's basically the hall monitor. Went to famous private school and won top honors every year. Basically a flawless honors student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. So, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, he goes by Taka. Mm. <laughs> you hear me? Got it. He's all about putting in maximum effort to, to uh, you know, earn your keep type deal. <laughs> <laughs> That's a move. The lady next to him. All right, figured you put uh, him off. Yeah. <laughs> Toko Fukawa. Now, I, I know that one version of her late, like, in other stuff, in other media or whatever, is voiced by Aaron Fitzgerald. I just forget what it is here. Mm. The ultimate writing prodigy. She wrote a novel when she was ten. And then she released a romance story two years ago. That ended up being her magnum opus. <laughs> That's how you know you're really good at romance, when the thing you wrote ends up becoming the archetype. Mm -hmm. So yeah, earned that title. 
However, <laughs> despite her writing romance and everything, ah! Uh... What's your problem? What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> she's, uh, she's got issues. Mm-hmm. Okay, Jesus. She's got issues. Steam is rock bottom, unfortunately. Anyway, now that's just her, Makoto. That's just her. Mm -hmm. And now for Hifumi Yamada. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. The fact that this guy sounds like this boy just makes it so much The easy. ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. Hey, what stereotype on him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is fucking impressive, though. Mm -hmm. 10,000 copies of a doujin. At, at one... a school festival. Yeah. <laughs> However... Is that why your ears are so big? <laughs> I had to make some sort of Van Gogh joke there. <laughs> I guess someone who writes to me and this character just kind of rubs me the wrong way. Yeah. I also just need to get back to writing that thing. I think it's been a fucking while. Indeed. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Thanks. And yeah, that's Hifumi for ya. So who next? Uh... Her. The lady you're right next to. Oh boy. <laughs> Hi! I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. The ultimate fashionista. Is that what you call it? Well, uh, <laughs> all the magazines. Yeah. yeah I'm seeing her on tons of covers and shit, but I feel like this doesn't quite match up to reality. You said that quite, quite out loud, dude. What? <laughs> okay, at least she immediately understood what we meant. <laughs> What can we do? Totally! <laughs> uh, it is a unfortunately normal. She's not wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 he is a teenage boy, that's fair. <laughs> I just noticed she actually has some freckles. Yeah, because when I first played this Vita, I just noticed some freckles on her nose. Mm. Vita's street small. <laughs> Lady in the far left. Ah! Aoi Asahina! Hey ya! I'm Aoi Asahina. But my friends just call me Hina. Sup? Recognize the VA now? No, and that's going to annoy me. Cassandra Lee Morris! Oh, hi Morgana. Yeah, no. This was basically the first role of hers I ever really heard, but I didn't know it was her because I wasn't really getting into lots of VAs at that point. Mm -hmm. So, as one was retroactive, oh, it's you! <laughs> the ultimate swimming pro. Makes sense, it's basically like um, swimming shorts and stuff she's wearing. Mm. I would have thought more track star. Well, but... also that, yeah, yeah, exercise in general. Yeah. So, she's been breaking records since elementary. Reminder, these are ultimates. Yeah. <laughs> she's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. So yeah, earned that title, all right. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Mm -hmm. She's also a bit of an airhead. Mm. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. <laughs> Classic Japanese memorization technique thing. Mm. 
At least it's something that kids would use. That that's a good insight into her personality. Yeah. Mm. Not eggy. Dude. <laughs> Fun fact, uh, in Japanese, they're spelled with katakana. Mm. So we don't know any actual official kanji or anything. Mm. Mm. Let's have made it easy to uh, romanize it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> how do you not know how to spell na e gi okay. That's something we learned in, like, first quarter. Mm -hmm. Kanji is where I get fucked up, though. Same. I, I just need to get back to it. I'm so fucking rusty with that shit. Kanji is the biggest part, and then the kind of particles in the middle of the sentence is the second for me. Yeah, particles can also be a bitch. <laughs> Grammar in general is fun no matter the language. The kind of white hair in the middle. Ah! Kyoko Kirigiri. That's a lot of eyes. I now also have a certain fan song stuck in my head whenever I say her name out loud. <laughs> My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Sadly, I do not remember her VA off the top of my head. Mm. The huh? The ultimate uh oh. Also, yeah, she wasn't in the threads! Mm. She's a complete mystery! I should start eating this before it gets too cold. Yeah. Plus, I woke up like an hour before you uh, messaged me, so... You know, I haven't eaten anything yet. I made pizza before we did this because it never was that good. Those of you who watch me stream know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Saki. I'll have more to say about her later on, but she's a fun one. She's actually one of my favorites. The ultimate programmer. Oh, I wish I was. Huh? Not that I know of. Uh, no, this is the first time I met any of you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in Japanese I said Hajime Mashite. Yeah. Which is honestly fine to me, uh, just wordplay-wise, because the second protagonist's name is Hajime. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. The ultimate programmer. So, yeah, also, her personality has given her fans. That doesn't surprise anyone. Mm-hmm. Secure. Just a bit. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> and now Mondo Alana. Name's Mondo Alana. The guy who looks like nice he got meet you. pulled out of Yakuza. Ultimate biker game leader. Mm -hmm. His bike game is called the Crazy Diamonds. Yeah, can you tell what some of his inspiration was? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, you can see it on the flag. Mm-hmm. The largest spiker game in Japan. Ah, oh, what was your VA again? I should know this. Ah, oh, god damn it. Yo. Yo. Hell yeah. <laughs> And the last four, because we are number 15. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, Celeste. Alright! I do not think we have been introduced. 
I am Celestia Ludenberg. The ultimate gambler. Celestia Luden what a what? No, it's not that hard, Makoto. For Japanese pronunciation, it could be, possibly. Yeah, I guess. Because, let's see, Celestia... Yeah, something like that. It's a classic case of loan words being, uh, interesting. Uh, yeah. I, I, like, when we were learning loan words, I'd still go like, wait, what's that supposed to be again? Mm-hmm. Like, cakey is obvious, but other ones were like, brain goes too literal on the syllable pronunciation, not thinking to mesh them together. Mm-hmm. Yes, please call me by one of the best indie RPGs out there. Or platformers. Why did I say RPG? <laughs> Maybe it's because I've been streaming two different RPGs. Mm. I was not smart with that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and because of the name, just want to check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a bit presumptuous of you, Makoto. It's more like she wants to keep up an image. Mm -hmm. She's the ultimate gambler, after all. Mm. Self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. About that. <laughs> Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, which, fair, it's a cool fashion. Mm -hmm. Everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. What's true? What's not? Who fucking knows? I wonder how she's doing Kagiguri. Mm. Which is an anime I still need to start at some point. I know it's on Netflix. I just didn't boot it up. And yeah, cleaned out all the other players in some gambling ring thing. <laughs> Taking their fucking life savings. <laughs> hmm. Now, because you know the ultimate lucky students is obviously a sort of tradition at the school, I'm gonna say this now. There is a official art that shows her playing cards against um, Makoto and the other Ultimate Lucky students in the series. Because mm. of course that's art they did. <laughs> uh, the guy in the middle. Uh, so him? Yeah. All right. You're a fun one. The Ultimate Fluent Prodigy. Keep wanting to say prodigy with that, but it's progeny. Uh, hi, nice to meet you. Yakia Togami, heir apparent of his family's massive financial clogomer, the Togami Corporation. So yeah, he's that character. Hmm. Come on. Yeah, he's very full of himself. <laughs> the guy next to him. Hi, Yasuhiro! I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Hi, Kaiju Tang. Oh, yeah, you recently recognized them. Yep. There are a few, like him and Patrick Sates. Otherwise, I'm like, I don't know you. The ultimate clairvoyant. Known as Supernova in the psychic community. Yeah, Makoto doesn't get it. Yeah, it's, it's, honestly, it's just like, eh, it's a thing. Could it be? You're serious? Hmm. What? <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, you may wonder why he said Brewski. Um, he's been held back a few times. Hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. I wonder if he was 20 in the Japanese version. Because drink, different drinking ages. Might have been. By the way, um, so I forget when they bring it up, so I might as well say this now. Want to guess what his success rate with predictions is? I mean, part of me wants to say something low, because that would just be ironically funny, but some... But part of me wants to say it's something high because that would just make sense with this series. I'm gonna say like 60%. Half of that. 30? Yep. Mm. And now for Sakura Ogami. I am Sakura Ogami. 
The ultimate martial artist. Not a good move. Yeah. Fire <laughs> <laughs> raging demon, no doubt. By the way, um, well, actually, no. That we, we might get into that later with the whole hanging out with everyone thing. Depends. <laughs> so yeah, won an American martial arts tournament and everything. Well, that's one hell of a record. Yeah. Some call her Ogre. What if it's Oni in Japan? I don't know. Might be. Now nah, she's actually really chill, all things considered. Mm-hmm. I mean, chiller than some of the other people here. Well, I'm just saying that, yo, you know how parts of martial arts train is know when to use it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she takes that seriously. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> there goes my heart. I see. <laughs> and Makoto going to dodge a fucking bullet there. <laughs> I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. <laughs> I'd rather not get my ass handed to me six ways from Sunday. Every day. So yeah, those are all of our ultimates. Hmm. Um, listen. By the way, I don't know what it is, but just the way they drew the outlines for her outfit and everything, it looks so soft. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we all got hit by the coma. Or whatever the fuck it was. I mean, seriously? Gets the main hall and suddenly gone. Piece of shit! <laughs> I love his voice lines. Mm -hmm. I want to say with Taka, it's uh, Sean Shiplock, but I didn't have to double check that. Mm. Oh, uh, I I I could be completely wrong about it though. Um. What does this mean? What the heck? Oh, I love the ambiance the uh, soundtrack gives. Yeah. Oh damn! Even this far back, they have little details in the eyes. I never noticed that. Again, Vita screen quality. <laughs> it's it's good screen quality for handheld, but still a handheld size. Is it yeah. like I played all the games on Vita until V3 on this system. Mm -hmm. Hey, come on. Here, I think it is just one gigantic hazing procedure. Mm -hmm. I see. Sure, just going, whatever makes me feel easier at night. Mm -hmm. What the hell? <laughs> and everyone's just already chilling out. Guys, know. guys, come on. The, oh god, it begins. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at, uh, right now. Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. <laughs> so, fun fact, that voice actor is Brian Beacock. I know none of his other roles. Hmm. I don't either. Goodbye. Also, fun fact, 
This specific character is a fun case of later versions having a different VA because, um, it was either retire or death. One of the two. Mm. Could it be? So yeah, in the, uh, like, in the crossover spin-off game, they act, if you set the voice to language Japanese, you get to choose which, uh, Monokuma, which Monokuma voice you want. Mm. <laughs> so that's pretty cool, which actually makes a lot of sense because, um, it's pretty much exclusively voice grunts in that game. Mm. A little unfortunate, but oh well. You know? Uh. It's crazy to think the series is over 10 years old now. Because <laughs> huh? yeah, like, uh, the spinoff and the Switch ports were released as a big 10th anniversary bundle. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Well, the physical version of the bottle, you can buy them individually on the eShop. Again, would not recommend playing V3 via the, the Switch version, just anyway. don't. Just cannot stress that enough. Mm -hmm. There was one part of the final case that was damn near unplayable slowdown-wise. Uh, but that that I can talk about that more when we you see what the mechanic of one of the running uh, of one of the more consistent things is. This is bad. So everyone's not going. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> Was that a bear still awake? The fuck? By the way, speaking of, sounds like they call call, call it Monokuma, not Mono Bear. Yeah. I see. But yeah, I'll with, with Monokuma, you will see him in full in a sec. He's a mascot character, so I wasn't too worried about saying his name a lot. I've heard it around. I've seen him around. It's just haven't actually played the game that he's from. Seen thumbnails and stuff. Seen him brought up in other things, but... I mean, Nico sometimes brings him up when he plays other games. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, speaking of, I'm glad he's less playing Neo. Yeah. But yeah. So, um, I'd say this save point's a good endpoint. We've now met all of our, like, main characters of sorts. Mm -hmm. We've only got a bit left of the prologue, but, you know, that's just, like, one last little thing and then setting the stage for chapter one. Yeah. So, yeah. With that, uh, and introducing all the characters, what do you think of them so far with their very, very basic pitch introductions? <laughs> <laughs> they're all interesting enough, and I feel like they're all going to try and kill me. Us. At some point. Shit is uh. gonna head south so fast. Oh, you have no fucking idea. But yeah, um, <laughs> so yeah, with that, that was a longer than usual part one, but again, story based, so I'm gonna try to keep it with that pace. Yeah. Which is gonna make trials, I think actually trials tend to have safe points in them, so that'll work for that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, with all that said, this has been the Triforce of Doom. And Drake Brazerfang. Peace out. <laughs>